the things that you gon' show me in a special way I feel You know me, we gon' always be together, baby That's what you told me and I believe it Cause I ain't never had nobody do me like me Hey guys, so we're jumping right into it with an unboxing. The wig I'm wearing in today's tutorial is from Unice Hair Company. This is all the goodies that I received along with my wig. I received a hot pink bonnet, some really, really cute press on nails. Y'all know I love me a good press on. <laughs> they also sent me this bedazzled pen. So, so cute. I'm going to leave it here in the studio. A nude stocking cap. And they also sent over one of their paddle brushes. Thank you again, you nice. I love, love, love my goodies. All right guys, so the wig we received is a V-part wig. So I have my hair braided flat to the back. And then I have this one braid in the front and it's gonna be taken out and used as our leave out. So here's the wig. This is their 12 inch straight V-part wig. I will be sure to add all the details below in my description box. I love how right out of the box, the hair is swinging like, <laughs> I just love that. Um, the parting space is a V-part, meaning you won't need any glue, no sprays or anything. Literally just put it on. It comes with this adjustable elastic band in the back. And as you can see, it comes with clips at the top, which we're gonna use to clip into our hair. I'm just going ahead and opening them up and getting them ready. And then it also comes with some combs on the sides of the wig that I can just press right into my hair. So y'all, this is literally going to be one of the fastest tutorials I have ever done for you guys. Literally just put the wig on, take those clips that we opened up and clip them back closed underneath of our braids. And there you go. I'm also taking the combs on the sides of the wigs and I'm just pushing that into the braids on the side of my hair. And now you see me just taking my braid out. Y'all, I clipped my ends just a week ago and I really love the length of my natural hair now. So I may be wearing my natural hair out later, but y'all gonna get this tutorial for now. <laughs> Um, I'm going ahead and I'm combing my natural hair out and then I'm just going to part it straight in the middle so that there's enough hair on both sides to cover the top of that wig. Next, I'm going in with my wax stick. Y'all already know this is my holy grail. I literally use this wax stick in every video. So yeah, I'm going ahead and putting that all over my natural hair at the top so that once I straighten it, it'll be nice and silky and it'll blend in with the hair on the wig. Now I'm just going in with my flat irons and I'm just pressing my natural hair as straight as I can get it. One thing about my natural hair, I am natural. I haven't had any relaxers or perms or anything like that. But one thing about my natural hair is when I straighten it, it does get pretty straight. The roots are the only thing that I have to like kind of worry about, but my hair when straightened, it does get pretty straight. So I'm doing it the both sides and then after this I'm going to go in with my hot comb and just make sure those roots are nice and straight. I'm not going to lie y'all, I actually like this length. Like this is a really cute corporate bay type of length. You know, it looks really really natural. Um I'm not going to keep it this length. I am going to cut it into a bob as you guys seen at the beginning of the video. But I think that I do want to try a wig that is like, you know, like this length. It gives corporate bay, you know, 
so if you want to keep it this length if you order this wig and you want to keep it this length you definitely can but as you see i'm going ahead and flat iron in the hair before i cut it Y'all, I was having a time trying to cut my hair with these scissors. I left my other scissors home. And like I said earlier in the video, I am at the studio. So later on in the video, you guys will see I did end up cutting my hair again once I got home. But just stay tuned for that. Just to finish up this look, I'm going in with my ebon edge control. I'm not doing any crazy baby hairs or anything because I definitely want this install to look really, really natural. Like it could be my own. So I'm literally just taking my edge control and making sure the front of my hair is laid down. And this is pretty much it. I really, really love the way this install came out. Alright guys, so just a disclaimer, I just got home and I noticed that when I was at the studio, I did not cut my hair evenly, so I did just go in with my scissors and cut it a little bit more even, and I cut it a little bit shorter, and I think I like this length a lot better. It looks super, super natural. Um, I'm not really used to wearing leave out anymore, so... I guess I gotta get used to it, but this will be perfect for the gym. I can literally just put my headband around it or push it behind my ears like that and wear it to the gym like that, you already know. But once again, thank you so much, you nice hair company, for sending me this U part wig. I absolutely love it, thank you so much. And thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave me some feedback down below in my comment section and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys